Hello everyone and welcome back to Pikmin 2. So today, as you can probably see, we are in the Citadel of Spiders. I said we were going to go here last time and, well, that's what we're doing. I already jumped in because I wanted the game to save when I first got here, so yeah. Here we are in the Citadel of Spiders. And if I remember correctly, this cave is not very nice. Uh, more... Already an enemy. Also, yes, those are the leave enemies. These guys are not very harmful, so I'm not too worried about them. But, I still don't like them, because they get in the way. But yeah, I think this is when the game starts uh, pulling some dirty tricks on you. So I definitely want to be careful. I also think there's a lot of dweevils in this um cave as well. So I definitely want to be careful of that. So there's a tomato there. Do I, w I don't know if I want to grab that foot yet, though, because it could be pretty bad. There could be something there. I don't trust it. I don't trust anything. Okay, let's throw a couple Pikmin on it. Okay, it looks like it might be safe. Quickly. Okay, everyone's good. Well, <laughs> the music. <laughs> that little, um... I don't even know what that is. What is that instrument they add to the music when, um, you can't even treasure? I'm not sure. Anyways, here's a tomato called the Love Nugget with 40 pokos. Pretty sure it's not any different because it's a tomato. Oh, that was it? There's only one treasure here? Okay. Um, I guess we could leave. Get rid of you. Um, actually, no, you guys can carry that stuff, sure. If you make it back in time. Um, don't think... Oop, that's a... Oh, wow. That's a whole controls thing. I did not know that. Um, yeah, I don't think there's going to be anything else nearby. So, pretty sure we can just go down into the next sub-level, since we're good. Alright. Oh, yep, there's Dream Wars and a Wally Walk. Of course, there's a Wally Walk. There's always a Wally Walk. Fire geysers, get rid of them. Hopefully nothing over there. Um, anything over here? Oop, see, that's a trap, but it's a good one since it has eggs. Or it was an egg that had nectar. But, um, it's not all of the traps are going to be like that. Some of them, ooh, bit of spray, hold on, that's actually really good. Okay, I want to see if this still works. So, okay. So there's a trick to getting two um, sprays from these uh, drops of bitter spray or spicy spray. Because usually you would just go up to it and you only get one. But if you play it smart by having the other captain just chill there. Oh, it cuts in. Okay. How would that not activate earlier? <laughs> I was basically right up against it. How? Whatever. One drop, one dose. Yeah, whatever. I know how to. No, I haven't used it yet, but shut up. <laughs> Okay, so we push the other captain into it until they start getting it, and then we go into it. Bam! Two bit of sprays when I should have only gotten one. Big brain moves. Okay. There's a Dweevil. Get over here. Okay. Oh, quickly. Just throw all the bubbles. <laughs> okay, nice. That worked out. Fine. We should use reds on them. Ooh. Okay, no, no, there's another freaking Wally Wog. Ugh. Hate Wally Wogs. They put them in such horrible spots and they're just so annoying. Oh, uh, well, it's fine. Also, it looks like we got another, uh, uh, bottle cap. Blackberry soda. Delicious. <laughs> Creative inspiration. So I. Pretty sure that is not the same as it was in the original. Not sure what it is, but you guys do because I'm showing you the pictures of the original. I said that already. Why am I? Why do I need to say it again? Come on, don't you guys pay attention to anything? Jeez. <laughs> okay, just destroy the fire geysers for now, and then. Okay, no trap. Good. Okay, let's take out the Wally Wog. Go, purple Pikmin. Yeah, you see how insane Purple Pikmin are? They just destroy anything that they come in contact with. They're even good to use against the Dweevils, because 
usually you'd want to use the type of Pikmin that corresponds with it um, to make it easier, but the purple Pikmin are just so powerful you can just throw them onto the Dream Ball and they end up just dying most of the time. Lip service. <laughs> yeah, that's what that is. Also, I'm pretty sure that's the same as the original. Don't think that's any different. There is a certain type of Dream Ball we do want to use the correct type of Pikmin for, though, because... There is a certain element in this game that can instant kill Pikmin. We haven't seen it yet. We do have the Pikmin that are immune to it, so that is very nice, but it's it's not good. Okay, see, they try they even just try to scale you. They just try and scale you. Because they have traps that are nectar and they just don't do anything. There's, I'm telling you, this game's evil, dude. They try and scale you. They don't even try and make you have a bad time sometimes. They just want to scale you for the heck of it because they think it's funny. So evil, dude. I'm pretty sure that duckhead should be the last um, treasure. Isn't this thing called like rubber ugly? <laughs> Let's see. 80 pokos. Oh, paradoxical enigma. <laughs> that is quite the name for a rubber ducky head. And then... Yeah, no more treasures. Good. Okay, sub-level 3, oh no, here they are, the node beetles, alright, so these guys, they have electricity, as you can see, and the thing is, unlike Pikmin 4, these guys, electricity, can instant kill Pikmin, so we do not want to have anything to do with these guys. We want to play it as safe as possible. Just have the yellow Pikmin take care of them one by one. And then we'll be good. Because we do not want to deal with these things. These things are terrible and they will make you regret your life because they, they're pretty easy, okay? That's simple. They just walk around and then they connect to another node beetle that's nearby. And when there's just one of them, they're perfectly harmless. But don't underestimate them ever because you could if you just underestimate them for a second they could kill all of your pikmin and you before you can even realize what's happening you, you really want to be careful with these good things because it's just it's not good man okay um i was hoping you would get that also if they get up they instantly try and connect with another node beetle so that is definitely really bad Purple Pikmin do pretty good against them as well because they can like flip over multiple with their big stomp attack. But um it's still risky to use them. Okay, that how okay, I was about to say, how are you still alive? Freaking cheetah. Okay, this is annoying, but whatever. No you guys come on, attack the snitch bug. Get rid of this thing. This thing's annoying. Okay, come on, no Pikmin. Uh, I wish I had more. I should have gotten more yellow Pikmin before coming in this cave. Oh, that's fine. Come on. Kill the snitch bug, please. Just get rid of them. It's so annoying. <laughs> Freaking eight snitch bugs. Come on. Kill it, please. Oh no, I just think I just threw a couple Pikmin over the walls. Okay, whatever, it's fine. Just slowly take everything out. One at a time. Play it safe. Are they? Oh yeah, they're on the other side of the wall. Whoops. Okay, that's fine. We'll get them later. Get rid of the snitch bugs. Or the no beetles. We already got rid of the snitch bug. Just need to get rid of the unknown beetle. Okay, got that last one gone. Even though I called back all my Pikmin thinking I went flip them over, which is annoying. Eh. Okay, whatever, it's fine, just kill him, please. We could probably go get our other Pikmin now, because we don't need to worry about anything else. Okay, you guys can start carrying that. We can just start carrying all the bodies. That way we can make some extra money. Get that. You guys, work on that. Probably also break down this wall. I don't know what's behind it. There might not be anything behind it, but... No, I think there's a treasure back here, because the treasure gauge is going off. Must be a buried one. So let's... 
forgot about that. Do we have any white Pikmin? Oh, I don't have any white Pikmin on me at the moment. Oh, well, that's fine. Um, guess, well, there was a treasure over here we can go grab. Um, some more eggs. Hopefully there shouldn't be anything else around here. Pineapple, fresh slices. Definitely not what was in the original, but... Now, nah, see? See? Look at that, a, a snitch bug trap. Freaking... Ooh. It's starting. And so it begins. The evil... Horrible tricks. Oh my, and a candy pop. Yeah, that's also another one that can happen. Actually, that's a... Um, royal candy pop buds? Is that what they're called? Okay, that's neat. Um... I already have all my Pikmin, so it's no use for it, but it's there, I guess. Um, yeah, we're not going to do anything. We could actually swap a red Pikmin over for a yellow just to get one more yellow, but I don't think that's worth it. Pineapple Fresh Slices. Patience Tester. Oh, wasn't this like um, uh, some kind of nut can in the original for like nuts or something? I think that's what it was. I think so. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like that's what it was, but I'm not sure. Anyways. Let's get the egg. It's actually... Oh yeah, the buried treasure. What was it? Nectar. There was some unflowered Pikmin, yeah. I guess the... um. Oh yeah, the snitch bug unflowers Pikmin when it throws them into the ground. Which is very mean. I don't know why it does that. It's not cool, dude. Okay. Buried treasure. Are we good? Nothing's going to drop down on us. Okay. Whoa, there still could be a trap here. It might only activate when the treasure is fully out or when the Pikmin are carrying it. You can't trust anything, dude. Never let your guard down in this game. Otherwise, you'll regret it. The game will instantly bring down its wrath upon you. Okay. Okay, I think we're good. Oh, man. <laughs> I swear, I just can't with this game. It gives me anxiety. Just everything scares me, dude. Okay, there's that. And we could get some nectar, flower up our remaining Pikmin. We'll probably do that. I'm pretty sure this should be the last treasure down here. 100, it's like a pearl or clam thing. I don't know. Memorial shell. Yeah, that's basically what it is. What was that weird bump on it, though? I, don't, I never understood what that weird bump was supposed to be. Okay, hopefully that's all the Pikmin. Anyone else need to be flowered? No, I think we're all good. Okay, and the exit was right here. Okay. Sub level 4. Whoa, calm down there, buddy. Jeez. I mean, luckily that was a red Pikmin, but bro. Don't need to get so trigger happy with that, jeez. Steve wanted to destroy that thing. Also, um, oh no, don't do that. Um, water dumple. Water dumple suck in this game. <laughs> it was so annoying. Okay. So it's a white candy pop bud. We can use that to get more white Pikmin, which is very good. Oh, the crop mad or whatever they're called. Uh, I hate those things. And of course, they always put them around like 15 other enemies. Get over here. Oh, wow, I'm surprised I killed. Okay, Cam, they're actually really tiny. Are they usually that tiny? I'm like that smaller than normal. Oh, he gave me a treasure. That's all that matters. Oh, look at that yummy chocolate thingy. It looks so yummy. <laughs> I want it. Okay, let's grab that. I guess we can, um... Break this down while we're waiting. It looks like something that would be in Glutton's Kitchen. I know there's, a uh, The Glutton's Kitchen. King of Sweets. <laughs> Pretty sure that's the same as the original. Um... Glutton's Kitchen, which is a cave in this area, has a bunch of, like, sweets as treasures. Um, we might actually end up doing that as our next cave, I'm not sure. Because I'm thinking about what I can do after I get out of this cave. 
I feel like I, my only options are Vinny Glutton's kitchen. Okay. Go, go, go. Okay. Get, yeah, come on. Okay, what? Stop being shot, Red Pikmin. Okay. Okay, um, let's break this. There was also a treasure next to the, um, nest of that thing, as you might have saw. Ooh, another treasure as well. Bunch of treasures. A little doggy thing. Okay, so... Boom. <laughs> I love the music. Okay, get that. Hopefully. Okay, that should be good. And we can get this. Which, yes, that has Bowser on it. <laughs> it's basically a pack of little matches. And it has Bowser on it. Which is really funny. Um... Okay, purple Pikmin. Go! Kill the water dumples. Okay, good. They make such a weird sound when they die. They're like, <laughs> freaking weird things. Yeah. Oh, that dog doesn't look very high resolution. Time capsule. Yeah, you can see like the pixels in it. What the heck? <laughs> okay. Um, it was basically what it is—a time capsule. So it's a very accurate name. Oh, next treasure. What is it? What does it say on it? Bowser Breath Brand? Flame of Tomorrow. <laughs> 555 Troopers. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. I'm pretty sure all those treasures were the same as the original. Also, we have gotten all the um, thingy majigs, which is good. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to have the red Pikmin be turned into white Pikmin. That way. We can get more. Um, white Pikmin, because, um, we have the most amount of red Pikmin. I don't want to get rid of any yellows, because yellows are going to be very important. I didn't really mention this, but, um, yellows might actually be the most important Pikmin that we can get. Because, like I said, all deaths are permanent. So in order to try and reduce the deaths as much as possible, we're going to want to try and make it so that everything is as safe as possible. And one of the biggest threats in this game is electricity hazards, because they can instant kill Pikmin. So we want yellow Pikmin to just get rid of all of that, that way we don't have to deal with it. Oh boy, sub-level 5. Looks like this is the final sub-level. Because I saw a certain room. And, yep. So, Citadel Spiders. Wanna take a guess of what the boss is? <laughs> What is a spider-like boss we fought in before in the series? Go ahead, take your time to guess. Um, okay, so that's the exit. Is there a buried treasure around here? Uh, oh, there's a, um, what should we call it? A uh, glint beetle. Okay, wait, do you have the treasure then? Damn. Nice, he dropped the spicy spray. Okay, so you can only hit, um, um, why, I just said his name, how do I forget? <laughs> uh, Glint Beetles. You can only hit them, um, three times in this game. So you want to be careful. Oh, cutscene for the red, because it's spicy spray. We haven't done this yet. <laughs> Even though, it's basically just the same cutscene, but it's like, oh, it's spicy spray instead of bitter spray. Have you tried it yet? Yes, I've tried it. Stop telling me. <laughs> okay. Okay, that, my, that was a little close, I was scared. Okay. Go get, and boom. Double spicy spray madness. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. Beady long legs. Oh, I guess I spoiled the boss, but hopefully you made your guess already. Is... I think there's a treasure here. Oh, yeah, there is. Okay, good. Have them do that. Um, purple Pikmin are not very good in this fight because um, they are slow and you can't really throw them high, so they're not going to do a good job. So I think we want to leave them behind and bring like reds and yellows because those are going to be the good uh, Pikmin types. So we'll get the yellows. We could bring the whites, but I don't want to lose them because they're harder to get than the others. And then we got the diamond, which is very nice. 100 Pokos. It's gotta be fake if it's only worth 100. 
Legal diamond. Okay. Um, I guess that's good. We'll grab the rest over here. That's a purple, but we don't want him to um stay with us because he'll be slow. And I do not want to lose any red Pikmin or purple Pikmin because they are very important. Also, the giant spider web is such like a creepy detail here. Oh, I hate this so much. I hate how close you have to get. And with the treasure gauge going crazy, it's like, uh, it makes you so anxious. Uh, how is he not spawned? Where? Hello? There he is. Okay. BD, here we go. Uh, I actually could have gone in there, but I don't want to risk anything. Do not want to risk anything. We're going to play the super safe. We fought him in Pikmin 1. Now we're going to fight him here. Okay. Oh, you didn't. Oh no, everyone get over here. Okay, that was risky. I didn't. I thought I would stay down for longer. Oh man. Go, 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 go. Oh, I'm throwing the other one. Oh no. Frick. Oh, we lost so many yellows. Dang it. I was throwing them in the wrong area. Okay, we are not doing very good. Oh, go. Oh, this sucks, dude. Go, 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 go. Oh my god. I'm gonna get over here quickly. Oh man. I lost five yellows. That is so bad, dude. Okay, wait, he's almost dead. Go. Yo, oh no. Go, 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 quickly. Okay, wow. We actually. I feel like I killed him very quickly there. <laughs> That was impressive. Ooh, the key! Yeah, we can't do the thing I want to do because his body disintegrates. Which is very sad. But yeah, the key, which is... By the way, this key is 100% the key from Super Mario World. You can't tell me otherwise. Sweet victory! That giant insect's body has crumbled to dust. Yes, it has. I'm quite relieved to know I won't have to store such an enormous bug. <laughs> Who's happy about it? Analyzing soil samples. Anomaly detected. What's that glitter glittering widget? <laughs> so this is a fun treasure because um, it doesn't actually do anything in the base game, but it unlocks like a side mode that we can do, which is pretty cool. The challenge mode. It's basically like you go through um, uh, the caves that you go through during the main game. They're a bit different, but you go through them. There's a bunch of like coins and stuff in them. And you try and get as much treasure and as much money as you can in as a short amount of time as possible. And it's a cool mode. I never ended up doing all of them, but I did a few of them. Yeah, it's got a special jingle too. The key. <laughs> the special key. This object seems familiar. I would combine it with the president's parallel dimension controller. Hold, hold on. You had the president has a parallel dimension controller. <laughs> what? <laughs> How? <laughs> Alert! Sensors indicate a massive dimensional shift at a distant location. I'm receiving a message from a far flung dimension, displaying the message now. <laughs> Challenge mode can now be accessed from the title screen. Yeah, nice fourth wall break there. <laughs> It appears to be total gibberish. <laughs> Hopefully the message has reached its intended recipient. Yeah, also fourth wall break. I will name this apparently worthless device, the key. <laughs> That's great dialogue. All right, now that we're done here, we lost five Pikmin, and like I said, they're dead. They're permanently dead. I wouldn't even reset the game for anyways for um, five yellow Pikmin. That's not enough to be worth it. Meh. Now, we have five dead Pikmin. The first five Pikmin to die. Rest in peace, Carl, Jacob, Sarah, Anthony, and... Greg. <laughs> no, I didn't just make those names up. What are you talking about? Alright. Perplexing pool. Ooh, actually, it's kind of orange. How much time do we have left? Whoa, it's almost... It's almost... The day's end. Wait. 
why is it almost the day's end? Doesn't time not move in the caves? Um, how many? Okay, 25, that's good. Um, we're probably just... Ooh, I don't know if we'll be able to make it at Glutton's Kitchen then. Maybe, um... 40 reds. Um, we'll get out. 10 of those. Wait, why do we have a... How many do we have out? 25. We have an uneven amount of pick right now, I don't know why. <laughs> um, okay, 25. We might not be able to make it good in this kitchen, but yeah, that's... Did they change that? Because... It was not almost the day's end when we went into Cerodus of Spiders. At least I'm pretty sure. Did they change it to have Pikmin 4 rules, where the time just goes slower in caves? Because I'm 99% sure in the original. Time does not move when you um are in a cave. So... That is very strange. Okay, well we can at least try and um... Just do as much as we can to the electric gate in front of, um... Uh, what should we call it? Glenn's kitchen. Okay. Louis, you take the rest of the Pikmin. Um, yep, already counting down. Okay. Well, we can try. Don't want that Wally walk to come get us. Yeah, electric gates also take forever to break, so... Yeah, it's probably not gonna happen. But, um, at least we can go back to the second area and get the blue Pikmin now since we have yellow Pikmin. Yeah, that's very weird. I wonder if they changed that. I, I don't think it was almost the day end when I jumped into Citadel Spiders. I don't know. Oh, look. It's funny, the Wally Walks try and attack the ship. Look, that's how evil they are. They want to try and kill Olimar and Louie. And they're invincible, but they still try. Evil creatures. Monsters. All of them. <laughs> All of my terrible news! I thought I went to Happy Harkaday Savings and Loan, but it seems my loan came from the shop next door. All oh, devouring black hole loan sharks! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so yeah, the president is in big trouble now. <laughs> Alright, so we are gonna head back to Awakening Wood because we wanna go get the blue Pikmin, because they are gonna be very important. Alright, so... Um... How do we want to do this? Why get some white Pikmin? That way we can grab that treasure. Okay, um, let's grab like 15 white Pikmin. Um, let's just go over here quickly and do this just to get out of the way. Um, those things aren't going to kill any Pikmin, so we don't have to worry about them. Um, throw all the Pikmin up there. There's 15 should be enough for, um, that. Then get all of the yellow Pikmin, 34, that's a weird number, I wish I had more, but, oh well. It's fine, we'll get more later. Actually, we could, like, kill these things real quick. And then I guess we could get some purples as well, just to have, like, a uh, defense. Yeah, let's grab some purples just in case. Uh, let's just grab out all of them. Yeah, that should be good. So we're going to get the blue Pikmin. And then we will try and get as many as we can. That way. Oh yeah, look, there are the Pikmin. Already back with the other thing. Olamoy, you come back here. Then we get the treasure, which is whatever that is. I, I don't know what this is supposed to be exactly. <laughs> um, Pilgrim Bulb. That's what it's called. Oh wow, we got 40% of the dip recovered from that. That's good. Okay, um... Yeah, oh, these guys are... Can't gain the spicy berries. Whatever. It's fine, I can't be bothered. Can also get that treasure. Actually, let's do that real quick. We'll bring it down, and then have other Pikmin carry it. Okay, come down here. Alright, you guys, now white Pikmin. Oh, I thought it was some 10 I needed, but it was not. 
Um, okay, so... Yellows and purples. Throw them at this corner because there's a guy there that we want to be careful of. Gonna take him out with the purples and then have the yellows work on that gate. Oh wow, they already brought that back. I mean, it was white Pikmin, so they are super fast. A low veil of cream. Healing cask. I feel like this was also different in the original. I'm pretty sure it did not say a low veil on it. I don't remember what it said, but it said something different. Everyone go up there. I'm not sure what I want. Oh, we can have Louie um, break that wall over there. That would be good to do. Okay, we do want to be careful. Oh, quickly. Go, Purple Pikmin. Kill it. Okay, ow. Freaking. He's dead and he hit me, anyways. Okay. No. Um. Actually, ooh. I don't like how any of this is right now. You know what? Just have the Purple Pikmin carry this stuff. Actually, no. Not that one, though. No. Carry the, um, yellow one. And then carry that. Okay. Sure, bring that to Rich. I don't know. Actually, let's throw a yellow on that. That way, maybe he'll... Okay, good. It's going to, um... No, that's good. Now it's going to... Gosh darn it. That other one's going to Reds now. It's not good. Okay. Yellows, you come here. And... Oh, yeah. The blue Pikmin. Shows us a cutscene of them. Beep, beep, beep. Shows us just them motoring the uh wally wog poles, is that what they're called? I can't remember. Look there <laughs> in all capitals. Wild blue Pikmin. By perhaps by observing these wild specimens, we can understand more about their true nature. Cause that ding! I apologize. I was momentarily enchanted by them. Now, back to work. <laughs> okay, um, we're probably gonna use, uh, Spicy Spray to have them hurry. Ow! That's not good. Okay. Um, Louie. Grab. Okay, we're gonna need, um, Olimar to have them go down there. Alright, Louie, grab everyone. Then we're gonna go back, grab the other Pikmin. And then... See what else we can do. We're probably going to try and get the white Pikmin to break the gate. Let's see, pluck you, and... Oh, that was another thing. Okay, whatever. Just put you back in the onion. Go back in the onion, where you belong. Um, we're get, I guess I could get out the rest of the white Pikmin just to have them. Oh wow, are they already done? Hold on, let me check. Oh wow, they're already done. Okay, that was fast. Okay, you guys can just chill there, I guess. Um, let's grab the blue Pikmin. Yay, blue Pikmin. Wow. <laughs> and they got little mouths. At last, you have encountered them. They seem to have gill-like ducks on their cheek. No, they don't. They have a mouth. <laughs> they must be blue Pikmin. They look to you for direction. While they indeed survive and naturally, they still seem to long for a valiant leader. Yeah, sure. Everyone, get over here. Okay, don't worry about the wog things right now. We have stuff to do. Need uh, you to get the Pikmin. Okay, have them do that. Oh, they're already getting distracted. Okay, that's great. Um, I guess we can put the yellow Pikmin back. Then... We'll go grab... The, um, I, know, I should have killed those things, but whatever. Can't be bothered. The white Pikmin will work on this. While the purple Pikmin don't do anything. <laughs> okay, you guys work on that. Then, what can I do with the purples? I'm not sure. <laughs> um, I guess we can just chill for now. Because I don't see what else we could do. Luck, all of you. Get more Pikmin. Um, why have you guys not gotten that walk pole body? 
guys get that. And then, of course, there's a treasure here you can go get. This is actually where we um, fought the adult Ganon beetle in Pikmin 1, if you remember. Which is pretty cool. Okay, they're just doing their thing. Kill them. Kill the thing. Oh, what? Oh, I did not mean to do that. Where did the other thing go? Quickly. No, stop. I'm trying to throw the Pikmin. Go. Kill it. Okay, they'll kill it eventually. <laughs> Um, where do we want to go after this? Ooh, we could go and try and, um, ooh, actually grab that. Okay, let's have you guys carry this. Need ten. This should be more than enough. Um, what, what, where can we go? We can go to, oh, we actually maxed out on Pikmin, okay. Let's just leave this place then. Actually, we're going to have a blue... Um, carry that. Yellows, come here. Are they done with that gate? No, they are not. There is a cross the bridge, so we can either go do the snagger hole, or... Um... Is it... Bullblack's Kingdom? Is that the other cave that's here? Ooh, that might be. Okay, we can have the blue Pikmin do this, real quick just to get that out of the way. I think it's Bull Black's Kingdom. Yeah, I think that's the other cave here. Oh, do I want to do Bull Black's Kingdom? Not really. <laughs> Bull Black's Kingdom sucks. Um... Ah, uh, but Snagger Hole is not much better. <laughs> Snagger Hole also sucks. Oh, I should... Actually, Louie, you can go check up on the other Pikmin. Oh, are you guys done? Oh, yeah, those guys are done. And then they just completed that, which drains the water, so we can break that, um, gate there. Which is very nice. Okay, Olimar, let's have you and the others work on this. Then... We will go grab the blue Pikmin that's over here. Even though, we, he, he's technically safe because he's by the onion, so he's not going to get killed by, um, end of day... of uh, shenanigans or stuff, but I still want him with me. Just for safety. So, what's over here? So, this is the other way to get to... Um... Ball Black's Kingdom. I thought there was an orange ball boy up here. Okay, well, let's throw everyone up there. And then, one Pikmin there. Good. Okay, so now everyone's up here. There's the bitter... Um, spray berry up there. Ah, uh, we're right here. Let's just get out of the way. Let's do Bull Black's Kingdom. Okay, that's our 36 yellows. Gonna have them work on the thing. Mario paints blue. Decorative goo. <laughs> Pretty sure that's the same as the original. Um, let's see. Everyone go up there. They actually had a bunch of like paint in the um, Pikmin 4 as treasures. I didn't- did, were any of them, um, Mario Paint related? I didn't actually pay attention to see if they were. Oh, I should've done- oh yeah, there's a dice up here. Almost forgot about that. Okay, you guys can carry that. Should probably have Pikmin other than the, um, purple Pikmin carry that because they're so slow. <laughs> okay, that's much better. Um, they can be doing that, sure. Then I guess we can do a little bit of across the bridge because there's some water stuff we need to do over here. Actually, we also need white Pikmin as well because I think it was like a poison bridge as well. So... Hmm, I'm trying to think how to successfully dandoy this with maximum dandoy skills so that... Um... I can effectively do as much as possible. The day's, the day's actually about to end, which is not very good. Um, Olimar, I want you to go back up here, because I want you to stay with the yellows. I forget if, um, if Louis way far away, but he still has the Pikmin with him. The Pikmin will come with you when you try and jump into the cave. I'm not sure. Um, so let's just take the whites and the blues over here. Um, I believe there's also Wally Walks over here. Yeah, there is. Okay. 
Let's see if we can lure the Wallywog over here. Come on. Get over here. You want me? I know you do. No, they're not doing it. Okay. Um, well, they're already done. Oop, nope. Wrong button. Switch. I'm hitting the wrong button. <laughs> okay. Let's get all of you. Get all of you. Okay. Um, Bull Black's Kingdom. We actually probably shouldn't have blue Pikmin, so I, since I don't think there's any water here, but... Oh, well. Wait. What is this? My seismic senses are picking up tremors deep below. What force is at work in the depths of the planet? An uh, emperor is at work here. Um, ooh. So yeah, for fire and electricity, so no, only 36 will be entering. So we need to get Louie and get him over here. Alright, fine. I guess we can deposit the blue Pikmin. Actually, we can't because freaking the onion is over by the um, water. Which is very annoying. Um, we'll probably get rid of some white Pikmin since I don't think we need that many. Let's deposit like 10. We don't need that many white Pikmin. So I'm just do that. And then blue Pikmin. Oh, this is going to be tight, but I think we should be able to get into the cave before the day ends. Okay, let's get out 28 reds and then let's hop on in. Was it even Bold Black's Kingdom? I didn't even actually check to see if it was Bold Black's Kingdom that this cave was. I'm 99% sure it is, but probably should have checked. No. Okay, let's have everyone go this way. See, it's so nice to get them to do this. That way they can just easily slip up here and not be all dumb. Okay, 99. Who? What? Wait, there's a blue? Oh, the blue, I forgot about him. Shoot. Okay, um... Um, shoot, how are we going to get him up here? Okay, we might just have to do this. We're, I'm guessing we're bringing a single blue into the Bold Black's Kingdom. This is how this is. Okay. Um, 100, yes, and Bold Black's Kingdom. Alright, here we go, Bold Black's Kingdom. This cave is pretty sucky. <laughs> Although, I will be fair, this has one of the best soundtracks in any of the caves. Yeah, ooh. What? What is that orange ball board placement? That's, that's, that's not okay. That, no, that's, that's a bunch of bull. <laughs> What do you mean? Uh. Although, as you as you can hear, the music is really good. It's all like kingdom sounding. It's really cool. Okay, you know what? Let's that one blue Pikmin. Let's turn you into a red. Cause yeah, just have one more. Let's. Luck you real quick. Oh, that I don't want to deal with that freaking two orange ball boards literally right next to each other. How am I going to do that? I I don't know. Cause I think if I attack one, the other one's going to wake up. Cause usually they're further away. Like usually there's one right here, but it's not. It's actually nothing here. What the heck? Okay, whatever. I just want to join the music. <laughs> oh man. Okay, I'm pretty sure those orange bull boards have the treasure. So I need to be careful. But yeah. Bull Black's Kingdom. It's a cave. Oh my god, how's that other one not awake? Everyone get over here. Oh my goodness. Okay, so if you don't know what the difference is between orange bull boards and the other ones, the red ones, is that they wake up faster when you get near them. So you can't just go right up next to them and they won't wake up. These ones will wake up very easily. You can kind of tell because they sleep with their eyes open. You see how they woke up? The red bulb board wouldn't have woken up there. They did. And then... Okay, so only one of them had a treasure. I thought they both had treasures, but I guess not. Okay, just get all of that stuff. 
That was so... I'm so surprised the other one didn't wake up when I attacked the first one. Where's that purple dude? <laughs> 150 crystal clover. That's literally just where it is. And then... Oh, nice. That's it. Okay. That was an easy first sub-level. Alright, sub-level 2. I almost thought for a second this was the boss floor. But I'm pretty sure it was not, we're not there yet. Ain't no way. Ball Black's Kingdom is only... Oop, wrong button. There's only two flows. Also, changed music, which is interesting. I thought the Ball Black's Kingdom music played the whole way through, but I guess not. Oh well, that's fine. Let's just get rid of the fiery Dreevil. Uh oh. That's not good. I accidentally threw some yellows. Okay, just throw the purples. Go. Kill it. Why is it taking so long to kill it? Die, jeez. <laughs> Freaking Dreevils. Okay, I guess those guys can carry that shit or whatever. Okay, get rid of the geysers. Get the purple pippin to get that. What the heck is happening? How am I missing? Okay, jeez. That was ridiculous. I'm sure you guys can just do that. So I need to throw red Pikmin up here. And then just have them on. Dang it. Stupid yellow Pikmin. Actually, you know what? Let's just... Oh, I guess. No. Okay, that should be fine. That should be enough. Then we do that, and then guide them over with the little mechanic. Have them attack that thing. And then grab that. Alright, good. And then, is that the only treasure here? I feel like that's really short sub-level. There are some pretty short sub-levels in this game, but... We'll see if there's another treasure. Or not. Alright. This is like called Crystal Teardrop or something. Tear Stone. And... Oh, that's it. Wow. Okay. We are going at a pretty good pace here. Alright. Oh man, a puffy blowhog. I forgot. I didn't even remember you guys being in here. What the heck? Why is that puffy blowhog in Ball Black's Kingdom? Freaking stupid dumb blowhogs. Actually, aren't they called, um... Are they called puffy blowhogs? No, the puffy blowhogs are the bigger ones. What are those things called? Can't remember. Are they called puffy blowhogs? I don't remember, man. The names are weird in this game. <laughs> but we want to get rid of these guys because these guys suck. Because they deflower Pikmin when they blow on them. So not one of that. Oh no. Oh no. He got a few. Dang it. I'm surprised he didn't do a stupid laugh. They laugh after they make some Pikmin into leaves. Just to make you really hate them. They make sure they make them laugh that way. It triggers you even more than it already does. Uh, this game. <laughs> um, ooh, white candy pop bud. Um, what do you want to turn into? Um... We have 36 yellows. Yeah, I guess we'll do yellows because we have more of them. Okay, do leaf the yellows. Okay, that should be good. Um, I'm not sure where the treasure is in this cave. Also, I feel like I remember there being more like bull boards and stuff. Because this is the Bull Black's Kingdom. Um, we didn't get like somehow transported to a different cave, did we? <laughs> Because I feel like this is kind of weird for Ball Black's Kingdom. I feel like there should be more stuff. Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. But, whatever. Let's just try and get the treasure and get out of here. Buried treasure? Buried treasure, I think. You wanna be careful. There might be a trap here. Okay. Be careful, everyone. Okay, no trap. Feel like there should have been a trap already, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just that paranoid, dude, that like... Maybe it's not as bad as I remember. I don't know. I feel like it, everything's kind of easy so far, still. All the more night shell. That's funny. All the more night. Um... I would think that's like a reference to Pokemon with Almanite, 
but all of my night. <laughs> Sub level four. Okay. Ooh, there's some electric geysers right there. Okay, everyone quickly get over here. I do not want the Pikmin to just run over there and immediately get zapped. Because I feel like that has happened to me before. Okay, quickly get rid of them. Um, ooh, purple candy pop bud. Let's change the reds into purples, because why not? Okay, um, there's a bunch of, um, yellow or electric geysers here, so let's grab the yellow Pikmin. You, get over here. Get over here. Ooh. I'll take the nectar, thank you very much. Then, Olimar, you get over here, get the others. We'll have him pluck these purples. And then Louie will go through with the, um, yellows and try and get rid of- Ooh! Gold candy or glint beetle. Okay, nice. So the golden glint beetles have treasures on them. So you want to make sure you get those guys as fast as possible. I'm pretty sure if you don't get them in time, they do disappear. And I think you have to, like, reset the game or do the whole cave over again in order to, um, uh, get to respawn, which is not good at all. <laughs> that sucks a lot when that happens, but luckily we got him. So I don't have to worry. Get rid of the... Hello. Be oh my god, why? Oh, I see, I told you. I told you. This game, it doesn't mess around. Oh, great Wally walks. I hate them so much. Oh my goodness. No, that purple, the purple. Yeah, purples, go. Quickly. Come on, stun him. Okay, good. Jeez. Freaking Wally walks. I hate them so much. <laughs> uh, especially the gray ones. The gray ones are so much worse than the yellow ones. Also, you got this nice little coin. Unknown merit. Neat. Pretty sure those are the coins you have to collect in the um, challenge mode. Um, let's get all of these. And then... We'll get this treasure, which is a cool looking crystal thing. 110. It's worth 10 more pokers than the other one. Crystal King. Nice. And oh, it's actually all the treasures. So I technically could leave. Where's the exit? It's over there. Also, oh, there, there's a thing over there. Okay, let's real quick. Um, get the purple Pikmin. And then we'll flower them with that nectar that's over there, and then we'll go into the next sub-level. And I don't know if the next one will be the last one. It might. I'm not sure, though. Sub-level 5. Ooh, this does not actually look like it's the final sub-level, so it looks like we're gonna have to keep going. Oh, back to Bull Black's Kingdom music. Got more of those guys around. Ooh, it's dark in here as well. Well, um... Oh, my... It's, it begins. It's, it's starting. It's starting. Oh, no. Uh, you're going to see that trap a lot. <laughs> Freaking bomb marks falling out of the sky, dude. Oh, that's the favorite trap. The developers made that trap, and then we're like, okay, we're gonna place this everywhere. <laughs> it was horrible, but I'm actually going to end the video here. We're going to continue exploring Bull Black's Kingdom next time and beat the cave next time as well. Because I am out of time, unfortunately, but oh well, that's fine. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.